Happy Plant Fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is part of my jungle and today I wanted to do some Hoya maintenance with you guys. You saw me import some plants from Asian Plant Export and it did not go well. And I got some advice from a plant friend telling me that I should take them out of perlite and put the struggling ones into moss and they might do better in there. So that's what I did. I'm going to show you guys that footage now and then it's been about five days. So I'm going to show you how they're doing in the greenhouse when we come back here. Oh, this looks weird. It looks like I have a plate of like moss. Yummy. Okay. So, I have my Hoya um, Carnosa Stardust here that I already took out of the perlite and I chopped the roots off because they were actually rotted, like the whole stem was actually rotted up until about here. It's still a little bit rotted but this node seems okay, if you can tell, it's a weird angle. And it does have one little baby root, so it doesn't look great. It's starting to get discolored, but I am hoping that I can bring this back to life. It looks like it wants to have a couple of new growth points here, so I'm actually gonna be transferring it to some moss. And I'm gonna be doing that with um, a handful of these Hoyas here. There are a couple that I'm leaving in the perlite because they're doing okay and I don't want to disturb them but the ones that I have here are ones that are just not doing well stardust I have the Hoya Bordenii here as well the leaves are just really flimsy it's not doing anything I also have the Hoya Moto Ski here same deal just like really flimsy the leaves are not they're not dying they're not getting discolored but they're also not perking up so um i see some little roots in here like new roots but i just want to get in there and see what's going on and then this meridithii the same or not meridithii matilde actually has a peduncle look it has a peduncle <laughs> That's the one um, happy vine that's on there. The rest of them are really sad looking, so I want to get in there. It has a bunch of peduncles, but that one like activated in the last week or so. So that's a good thing, but you can see the other side of the plant here is not happy at all. It's still very wrinkly and whatnot. So I want to get in there and see what's going on. This is the really cheap moss from Home Depot, so I'm just picking out like all the twigs and stuff. It's really fun, but I had it and I didn't know that I had it, so I figured we would use it. I was going to get a bag of the better stuff, but so I am going to keep it a little bit lower in there just so that the cup kind of like supports the leaves so it doesn't flop over and we've had quite the uh, fungus gnat infestation oh, I got it okay one down hundreds more to go <laughs> I put out yellow stickies I've put out mosquito bits I'm doing all the things so all the suggestions everything you guys have said I am doing so that is the stardust and hopefully she's gonna bounce back in here now so today is Cinco de Mayo just so that we have a reference point because I'll forget next is the Hoya Bordenii I'm just gonna literally dump it out and see yeah there doesn't even it doesn't even look like there's roots okay maybe it's developing some let me get it off of actually let me just leave it on there I'm just gonna leave it on the stick um I guess you can kind of see there's some new those little white roots there the stem doesn't feel rotted so that's good 
Um, so I think that that's a good thing. I mean, it's, it's rooting. I don't know why the leaves aren't really perking back up though. So I'm just gonna rinse this out and um, put some moss in it. Just gonna stick this whole thing right back in here. Again, there's no need to really fill up the whole entire cup. Keeping the cutting a little bit lower in there actually just helps support it. So, stick these back on here. I think we're good with just the one. And that is that. I know you can't really see it, but I'll show you after. And then, next I wanted to get into the Poyamoroski. It's a funny name, isn't it? It does look like this one is putting out some new roots inside the cup as well, but not very many. Um, but it's definitely, it's rerooting. You could see, yeah, some of those roots like literally fell right off. So they're not, they're, it's rooting, but they're not happy roots. So hopefully maybe the moss will make it happier. All I know is I walked up into the greenhouse and saw what the stardust looked like starting to get discolored and I was like, oh man, I can't put this off any longer. I, oh, mm -mm -mm. I didn't want to film my face today. So that's why you're at this weird angle. But I wanted to also get these chores done and I wanted to show you guys what I was doing here. So I'm just going to have this right back in there the same way it was. But in some moss instead. So hopefully we're making good decisions here today but who knows i'm curious if i can just pull out the sad bits on here no let's just take it all out okay all right so this one's definitely like more rooted it has like a definitive root ball and like peduncles everywhere so i'm just gonna like rinse these in the sink so i can get a better look at them and then uh, see if I need to cut any of them off. This is the one piece that looks happy and healthy here, where the leaves are nice and stiff and we have a little bloom coming in here. So this is a nice chunk of it. I'll show you guys. That is healthy. And then, um, this, there's two more cuttings here, three, this one fell, that are not looking healthy. They have some mealy bugs on them, which is not surprising. So I may actually just cut and restart these. I don't know, they have roots, but they're not like happy roots. Yeah, there's still, there's still some wax coming out when I cut it. So that's a good sign. Yeah, these, these don't even look viable anymore. They're like, I cut the leaf off and it didn't even bleed. We're just going to get rid of that all together. I um, kind of just like took cuttings, to be honest with you, of some of these. And we're going to see what happens. Okay, I don't know if I have enough moss left, but hopefully we have just enough. Try not to pack it down too much. So 
same as you would with soil. You want to pack it down enough so that it holds the cuttings, but not too much that they're suffocating. So this is the already nicely rooted one that has a couple of active peduncles on it, which I'm not mad about. I'm going to stick that one in there first. Since it has some roots, I'm going to take some of the moss out. Try and get those roots in there. Put some of the moss back in. And then I have another cutting over here that I left rooted. Um, even though it doesn't look super happy, we're just going to see what happens if it makes a difference between the two, the one that I cut and the one that I didn't cut. Because then we'll just take cuttings off of this piece as well. Stick that in the side there. Fill it up with moss because the rest of my cuttings are not rooted. Need you to go down in there, girl. Thank you. I probably need some more moss. It's always hard to do this when you have plants that uh, are more than one strand. So I'm just going to fill this up a little bit more with moss, put the rest of my cuttings in here. They are fresh cuttings, but I am just going to put them, so there's no roots, I am just going to put them like directly in here to root along with the rest of the plant. Maybe I don't need more moss. These tendrils are out of control. That is it. I'm going to clean up my mess and turn you around and show you what they're looking like. Okay, so here's the <laughs> sirens and the Hoya Carnosa Stardust. So you can see how it's kind of getting discolored here. So that was what made me alarmed that there was something wrong with the plant. And sure enough, I didn't show you guys, um, but when I took it out, the roots were rotting. So. I cut it like I showed you and I'm gonna try and hopefully reroot it in moss. I didn't put it too deep down into the moss because I wanna be careful um, not to continue rotting it, but obviously I want it to stay nice and moist in there. So there's that one. And then this is the Hoya Bordenii that we did the same thing with. I did not cut any of the roots on this plant. They looked fine and it was growing some new ones in the perlite, but um, a lot of people told me that I should try moss instead is better for struggling Hoyas. So this one is still very flimsy. Not getting discolored, it's not like dying or anything like that, but it definitely isn't happy. And um, I want it to be. I bought this one because I like how the leaves get sun stressed. So hopefully it stays alive and we can actually see them get sun stressed one day. This is the Hoya Moto Ski. <laughs> Why that name makes me laugh. So again, didn't really do much with this one besides just transferred it over to the moss. I'm thinking about taking this top cutting eventually soon and sticking it back down in there especially if it doesn't perk up soon so it's a little flimsy but it's not like terrible these are definitely stiffer than they were when they came in the mail these ones down here are nice and stiff but i don't know hopefully it'll be happier in the moss and then this is what's going on with the matilde including this little padonkadonk um there's actually a whole bunch there's like a bunch of peduncles this one is just active it's very dark um but yeah there's a whole bunch of peduncles on this plant this is the only happy piece you could see the leaves are nice and firm and then these you could see are super wrinkly so hopefully some of these will come back and it won't look so sad but that's my story for now 
Okay, so that was that. I hope that you enjoyed watching that process. And now we're gonna step into the greenhouse and I'm gonna show you how the Hoyas are doing. It's been five days and I have noticed some changes. So let's go check it out. So here we are inside the greenhouse. We've got lots of fun, exciting things going on in here, but I wanted to focus my attention on the Hoyas that we redid together in Moss. So you could see Moss, um, this Matilde still has its little peduncle here, and um, it's not looking any different really. So it's not looking worse, but it's not like better either so i i guess that's a good thing i don't think that some of these vines are gonna make it but um we've got them in there anyway just to kind of see what happens so at least this one vine is doing well and will hopefully bloom for us so over here i've got my hoya carnosa stardust in this cup and it's looking pretty much exactly the same so it hasn't done anything the leaves are definitely still very bendy um but i'm hopeful i don't know you guys i really wanted this plant it's really cute it was a huge specimen that was sent and this was all that sort of made it so fingers crossed that this does something it's it hasn't done anything so far since I put it oh wait is a little root yeah, it's a little root if it'll focus yeah that little white thing is actually a root so um that's a good thing it's rooting it's just the leaves I don't think these leaves are gonna make it so hopefully maybe it'll put off a new tendril I don't know one can hope right let's stick this back over here carefully and then over here i have the hoya moto ski this same situation is going on with this the leaves haven't gotten any worse but they haven't gotten any better either so they're still pretty flimsy it's hanging out in there it's looking like it's growing some new roots i don't know if you can see some like little pink and white roots in there so I'm thinking that the moss was not a bad plan now granted I did leave some of them in the perlite because they were doing fine so I did leave this one in perlite this is the um, Hoya Nang Nooch Snoochie Boochie so that is that one and then what else did we do oh this one up here this one I kept in moss, the Hoya Mirabilis, because it's uh, doing fine. I mean, not moss, perlite. And this one, the Hoya Burdenii, is the one that we did move over to moss together. And so far, this is the only one that, look, the leaves have gotten much stiffer. So, and this looks like it wants to put out new growth over here, so... This one is definitely much, much, much happier in the moss. So noted, sad Hoyas go in moss, happy Hoyas can go in perlite. <laughs> but I don't know, I guess some just prefer the moss over the perlite, poilite. I can't really explain why. Um, this guy's looking really sad, but new growth, new growth, new growth. Super cute. Anyway, that's not what we're here for um what else from that order that was everything that we put into moss but this was from the same order this is the hoya thomsonii look at the new leaves they're so hairy um and this one's doing fine in the perlite over here is my hoya elliptica is doing okay in perlite i just i don't want to touch it or else i'd put it in moss it's got a couple of new little leaves so fingers crossed for this guy this one is literally just a dead stick which is sad because i really um wanted this one so oh well i've got some propagation going back here but that's not um that's not what we're here for that's just 
other exciting stuff going on. So yeah, that's really all I wanted to show you guys. A five day update on how things are going. So everything is looking pretty much the same except for the Hoya Bordenii looks like she is going to bounce back and be perfectly fine and hopefully get nice and sun stressed right here and start growing and being beautiful. So that is it for the Hoya updates. I hope that you guys enjoyed this little Hoya adventure with me. If you wanna see more updates on these in the future and how they're doing, let me know in the comments below. If you wanna see more videos like this and just support me and my channel, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me. Hit the join button if you want to be part of the official plant fam and come join our group chat on Instagram, hang out, get perks, know everything that's happening before it happens. And there's also a new super thanks button down there. You'll see a little heart with a money symbol inside of it if you guys want to leave a highlighted comment down below it is very very much appreciated and uh yeah i think that's it i think we covered everything so i'm gonna go i appreciate you fam and i will see you in the next one